Shop smart, shop S smart. Mm -hmm. I am your host, Death Metal Hero, and with me is almost an alumni on this show, Mr. Edwin Acevedo. How you doing, brother? I'm good doing to good, see you. Uh, it's good to good to be back. Get to talk some comics, man. It's always fun. Yeah, man. It's uh, it's good, man. You were you were just kicking out the jams, man. You know, like this is this is like the uh, the third different book that you've uh, you've brought onto the show, man. Like, look at you. This is awesome. Yeah, thank you, know? you. I yeah, mean, you, uh, you, you got ideas, you know? Yeah, it's my uh, third different book, uh, fourth. Uh, you know, I put out two aces, so that's my fourth book overall. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Excited, man. Excited. Yeah, man. It's, it's fucking cool shit, man. I love, I love seeing... You know, I love seeing, you know, uh, creatives like have, you know, have more than one idea, I guess is, is what it is, you know, cause sometimes you, you, you see a creative and they've, they've got one idea and they focus on that and that's fine. But you know, sometimes you got a bunch of ideas that are just kicking around in your head and you got to do something with them. So, uh, I think it's cool that you're, you're, you're trying, trying different things, man. And, uh, still got, still getting covers by Donald DeLay, but we, we, we gonna get into that, man. I'm, I'm actually kind of excited about this one. Cause you know me, I love Vikings. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, I think that's right up my alley. Everybody who, people who don't even normally like interact with, I've always been telling you, oh, this looks crazy. I love Vikings. I'm like, oh, yeah, 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 come on, jump on board. <laughs> yeah. It, it looks like it's going to be a fun story. I mean, in a mystery Island. I mean, it's yeah. Yeah, it sounds like it's going to be fun, man. Uh, but that's a little teaser, folks. We're going to get into the uh, the campaign and the and the book in just a little bit. So uh, what's been going on with you since the last time we talked, dude? What you been up to? Just yeah, been busy, fulfilled our blood bone. Yeah, uh, man. You know, got that out to people. It came out great. That's I'm awesome. super, super happy with how the Afghan turned out. The foil cover, everything was like super... Yeah. I, I could, it could not have been better. If I, if I didn't do it and I, somebody just gave that to me, I think... This is a cool project, man. So I was super happy how that turned oh, yeah. out. And, um, you know, working on Ace 3, which is going to launch in mm -hmm. September. And now we got finished up our raid of the White Leopard. So, you know, a busy, yeah. busy guy, you know. Yeah, man. I mean, you, 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 you. listen, a, uh, what is it? A, a body in motion stays in motion. So you've, ki you've got yourself in motion with these stories you know you got did the first two uh ace stories and then you did bloodbone and now you've got the uh, you know raid of the white uh, the the white leopard so i mean you just you you just moving forward dude you know a rolling stone collects no moss my friend so you just constantly moving forward and I, honestly that's that's what that's what we should be doing with indie comics you know this this indie scene we don't uh I don't know. We don't have the uh, the luxury, I guess, of resting on our laurels. Don't have the luxury of resting on a big name company for people to come into. We constantly got to be out there, you know, hustling. You know, every day I be hustling. You know what I mean? Like throw, like getting the getting the the word out there, getting new projects out there, keeping the people's interest. You know, because I mean, the audience, the audience uh, may, you know, they they find other things to get to uh, to pick up their interest. You know, life has no shortage of things to distract people. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And and fighting for that almighty minute uh, to, you know, the eyeballs. You know, that's uh, that's that's crucial, man. So, yeah. So you, also, you like, uh, also, like, each of these projects is different. So, like, mm -hmm. I'm not exactly hitting the same audience up again. Like, you know, the Ace is very right. much like sci-fi, space adventure, blood bones kind of like people sure. who like the hulk who like the more ground the street level sure that raid is just completely on the other side it's just like a like an action uh, i've had people who like fantasy hit me up about it you know it's just mm -hmm. like a different mixture to it so i'm not hitting up the yeah. same people again i'm just hitting different brands and, and different uh kind of audiences mm -hmm. and you're not hitting the same note over and over again with your projects dude you know that's the cool thing you're, you're trying different things you know see that is smart yeah exactly uh, there it is. Uh, Feline says that is that is smart. Yeah, diversify, man. Have a bunch of different flavors for a bunch of different tastes, especially if you got those ideas in your head kicking around. 
I mean, no, no reason to, well, this worked for me. You know, I should just keep doing this. Well, see that you're doing that with ACE. You keep doing ACE, but you're trying new things as well. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and say hi to the chat. What's up, Flying Feline? Skull, beautiful. Uh, thank you for uh, the the wonderful wine with the wonderful pizza. Uh, yeah, I, I know you saw the the picture that I posted. Okay. I mean, that's, oh man, I don't yeah. see. I don't like, normally eat hungry, pizza. I was like, oh, dude, dude, so good. Like I don't I don't eat pizza just because I always want to scrape the toppings off and just like like eat the toppings and leave the crust. But I mean this this is this is actual chicken. Like it's a, it's it's a keto friendly crust. So I mean I want to eat all of that. It's so good. It's so good. So yeah, man. Uh, just just had some delicious wine and uh, delicious pizza with uh, with feline. So uh, yeah, it was it was good. It was the, it was the good. Uh, let's see, and of course we got uh, we got we got this guy here, you know, Edwin in the chat. <laughs> and oh, thank you, Feline, for dropping the link. I appreciate that. Thank you. And we got a Miss Good Stuff. Hey, Miss Good Stuff, good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for coming to hang out. Oh, we got all this as well. Good evening, good sir. Thanks for coming to hang out, man. It's good to see you. <laughs> Sorry, just liquored him up. Yep. Uh, blame feline. That's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's all her fault. If I'm, if I'm, uh, overly jocular on the stream, what's up bird. Good to see you, man. Thanks for coming to hang out, dude. Good to see you. Welcome everybody. Um, so been busy fulfilling campaigns. Uh, have you, have you gotten a chance to breathe? Have you gotten a chance to like read anything new? Have you, have you peeped anything recently? Have you gotten anything in the mail that you've been super excited about? Yeah, I actually got uh, the uh, Liam Sharp uh, art book. Oh, it, uh, yes. The third one just came in the other day. Uh, nice, dude. Uh, yesterday because I had the day off. And it was just yeah. beautiful. Like, I got the first two, so I had to finish off. Uh, get Are you talking about uh, Starhenge? Uh, no, I have that too, but I haven't opened that yet. It's this one. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah. Oh shit, man! Yeah, he's he's just been he's been putting out some really great stuff, dude. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I have a couple of those. I I actually haven't opened mine yet. I've been uh, I've been hoping to reach out to him uh, to get him to you know see if, see if he wants to come hang out and do a what's in the box, you know. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Um, man. You know, we'll we'll see. I mean, uh, sometimes a lot of these guys they really they don't have time. You know, they're they're constantly under a deadline. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. And also, I haven't been able to do any kind of like what's in the box or anything like that just because I was finishing the condo and, uh, you know, now I'm on vacation. So all the stuff is 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 at home and, and, you know, I'm up here. So it makes it kind of hard to do that show. But uh, yeah, when I get when I get back, I will I will probably be making a lot of uh, direct messages and, and seeing, you know, seeing what's up. Yo, Aaron Calamari. What's going on, man? Calamari. Sorry. What's going on, man? Thank you for coming to hang out. Appreciate you being here. Um, so got stuff in the mail. Uh, damn that seeing that really actually makes me want, makes me want to open up mine when I get home. <laughs> Shit, man. Um, anything, anything else new, uh, with you? Anything, anything you're excited about? Anything you watch recently, you know, uh, stories, anything that, anything that's uh, kind of stuck in your head. I, only thing I've been watching is the wire files. I'm assessed with that channel. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic. Yes, dude. The best YouTube channel going today. Feel it, I love that channel. If you have to yes. Go over and subscribe after this. Cause it's, oh, dude. Why Files is great. Look, the last episode was the best they've done. Like, I've seen all of them. Oh, yeah. The best episode they did. It's fantastic. It's Are you talking great. about the uh, the one about uh, the face on Mars and all that? What NASA's hiding? Yeah. Uh, NASA's shenanigans, you know. Mm -hmm. that. Yeah, that was great. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's 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 a way to detect uh, you know photo manipulation in photos mm -hmm. now. So I mean, I know NASA's sweating balls. That's why they're just not taking pictures of shit anymore. You know, eh. it's too easy for them to discover what we're doing now. So yeah, no, the Y Files is, is a great YouTube channel, man. Uh, that's one of the few things that I watch as well. Um, yeah. yeah, I don't I don't really watch TV. It's it's mostly YouTube channels. Yeah, so um, like uh, you know, uh, watching uh, I was watching Rogan interview uh, James Fox about his like ufo documentary stuff like that you know something yeah. i can just put in the background while i'm writing or i'm coming up yeah. with ideas and stuff it just kind of helps get the brain uh distracted and i got I, I mean shit. 100 focus on it you know yeah 
Well, I mean, sometimes you'll, watch, you'll I listen. I everything for like half hour. I just got to be there and watching the episode and then I can relax. Yeah. But everything else, I can just have it in the background and just, you know. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree, man. I agree. Sometimes listening to those, those people talk, you know, it sparks an idea for a story, you know, just that little kernel and it starts snowballing and you're like, Oh, hang on a second. And if I did this and if I did that, yeah, I would truly love to sit down and talk with that guy. Yeah. Yeah. AJ, um, I, I love what he does with hecklefish. Hecklefish cracks me up, man. Uh, but yeah, AJ would be a lot of fun to sit down and talk to. I agree. Feline. Uh, Aldous says, hit that like, share the link, and if you aren't sub, what the hell are you doing with your life? Right. I mean, Aldous makes a hit good point. Button. Hit that sub button. Come on. I appreciate yeah, it, it, man. Doesn't hurt. You know, just hit that sub. That way when new episodes pop up. And That's like I said, right. I don't know. I probably mentioned this to you like uh, on a comment or something, but I was like, man, you've been killing it with these interview streams. Like, oh, we kind of As a creator, we've been missing these where you yeah. can just sit down with a guy and talk about your book for like an yeah. hour, just kind of like have some banter. Well, and it's yeah. like, you know, so we, we need more of these. I, I, I'm proud of you always kind of sticking through it and supporting guys. Man. So I oh man. I, well, see, I love doing this stuff, man. I love, I love talking with creatives. I mean, that's why, that's why, uh, you know, the Megacon footage, man, like going to Megacon back in like 2007 and 2008 doing my whole last Wednesday thing. I didn't, I didn't realize back then how much I enjoyed, you know, talking with people, you know, getting to know somebody, having a conversation with them about what they do, you know, about who they are, um, you know, and, and being face to face with people again, you know, somebody across the table or dude, I did not realize Jim shooter was that fucking tall. Holy shit, dude. Like I'm six two and I had my hawk up. So that's like another foot. And dude, it's like he's like two inches taller than me, man. Like he's a big dude. And to get such a I don't know, get such a, a down to earth, almost candid conversation with Jim. And then I don't know if you've gotten a chance to listen to my Andy Kubert interview, but it's it's much the same. You know, very down to earth, very real, like candid conversation with these, these literal legends in this industry that whose names I've seen in books for, you know, decades and to, to be able to, to sit and just get to know this person, you know, find out what their experience was in, and, and both of those guys, like just the most down to earth, you know, unpretentious conversations ever, you know, I mean, I, I don't know how else to describe it. It's just, they were, they were, they were amazing. I guess it's just because it kind of kind of blows me away because they're you know like I said they're legends especially yeah. Shooter mm -hmm. you know started making comics at age 14 13 writing comics at 13 I mean, it's, uh, it's almost almost a different world back then it is it uh, no it totally was it totally was you know uh, different uh, different standards uh, thank you feline I appreciate that I appreciate that it's uh, it's all about just having a conversation you know getting to know the other person. Uh, but yeah, man, it was, it was definitely a different world back then. You know, um, I, I don't think it, it would change, it changes the quality of the writing. I know the quality of the writing was good. Um, but yeah, because of that quality of writing, the bar got raised, you know, because of that, that quality of, of workmanship, the bar got raised. So yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's a lot different world, uh, now as far as like being a creative. But, uh, the quality, I don't think the quality changes, you know, no. I don't know, but, uh, <laughs> took a roundabout way of saying, thanks, man. I, uh, I enjoy doing these shows. I enjoy talking to creatives. I enjoy getting to know, uh, creatives and I, I love hearing about what makes a book tick, you know, what, where did, where did this story come from? Because like we were saying earlier, every story has like a little kernel where it starts from, you know, it has an inspiration. Um, so what, what is the, what's the inspiration for, uh, for white leopard? Uh, so it's a bunch of different things. Uh, the main idea, I've been wanting to pitch something to Alterna for a while, ever since yeah. I kind of, uh, found out about them and what they're doing. They have open like great, missions man. and yeah. you know, I, I don't have time for like another full-time book, especially back then when I was working on ACE. So mm. I thought like, you know, if I can submit something to their, uh, they came out on a Wednesday anthology series, you know, yeah. it, it only has to be like a short story, but I wanted to do something that had potential for the future. It wasn't just wrapped up in like seven pages. So, you know, I started yeah. kicking out about ideas that I'm going to do something that wasn't like 
the traditional superhero stuff. And, yeah. you know, like I said, you're a fan of Vikings. I'm a fan of Vikings. Everybody's a fan of Vikings. Yeah. So that was like, okay, now we can get into this space. I can write something that's a short story about Vikings. And then I was like, but I need a hook. I need a twist at the end. So that's how, like, the original Ray the White Leopard uh, pitch and story came out. So I pitched that to Alterna. Pete loved it. Uh, he put it in his uh, – it came out on the Wednesday anthology series, issue number 18 with a Kenneth Rocker for cover. Uh, and yeah. uh, that's something that I can take to my grave and say that I'm a actual uh, official comic book writer who's been published by a uh, mainstream comic book company, and I have a Kenneth Rocker for cover. So, Hell yeah, yeah. dude. I mean, and that, that, that is – yeah. All the boxes yeah. that were checked, so – yeah, and so that I'm, is that is something to be to be absolutely proud of because Alterna's great, Pete is great, and Kenneth is great. Like that's that's three great. wins in my book, man. Yeah, no, that's awesome, dude. Congrats on that. Thank you. So yeah, that came yeah. out uh, in their uh, winter campaign a couple of years ago. You can find yeah. copies of the book still on their website. Nice. Then, you know, I had to go do Ace Two. I had to do Blood Bone, mm -hmm. and you know I was kicking around you know more things because uh, the people who read it liked it. So I'm thinking like, okay, uh, I'm gonna do more with it, and that's kind of when I went back to Avery, who's the artist on the book, mm -hmm. and I, yeah. you know, pitched them like the second half of the book basically, and then we kind of put the first half and the second half together, and that's what you're getting here, in uh, basically the full first chapter of uh, Raid of the White Leopard. Uh, it's called Book One because it's um, it's meant to be part of like a three book arc. You know, this is mm -hmm. the beginning, you have the middle, and then you have the end, and it's basically that's that's the story. So yeah, this is kind of. Like the, the first try to see if people dig it and they, they want more of it. Hell yeah. All right. Let me. I'm uh, trying to grab the screen here. We'll bring up the campaign. And I love the fact, I love the fact that you're on fundmycomic.com. Yes, I. Fundmycomic.com. Everybody, everybody should be taking their books over here because Luke is good peeps. And I am I'm wicked proud of him for, you know, uh, putting his money where his mouth is and just and building this this website, man. Like getting this up and running. And, you know, I think it's fantastic that the uh, that the community is responding to it, you know. So it's fantastic. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. Go ahead and play the trailer here. Raid of the White Leopard, Book One, is the story of a band of Vikings that get caught up in a storm and wash up on a mysterious island. Written by Edwin Acevedo, the writer of The Ace, with art by Avery Butterworth from The Lost Pages. Back it today on FundMyComic.com. Hey. Go get the fucking book now. <laughs> Do it now. Ah, uh, it's awesome, dude. Uh, who made your trailer for you? Uh, it was a combination of uh, Shane Mess and uh, Michael Beacon. He did the voiceover. And Shane nice. Mess put all the clips together and kind of helped me out. Uh, you know, I got the uh, music and everything. So, you know, it's a little co collaboration process from the Hardline guys coming to you. Heck yeah. Yeah. Very cool, man. And I see you got this sweet, sweet Donald DeLay cover. Had to. Yeah, yeah. man. I mean, mm -hmm. man. I, when Donald does action and violence, it's just, it has so much, you know, life in the death. I don't know how else to put it. Yeah. You know, Perfect. like this, this, this hand right here, like this hand, just the starkness, it, uh, I, I think it's great, you know, because it's just, it's like almost literally the only thing right there and it just stands out to me. I mean, also, I, I love drawing hands. Hands are, hands are fun. But like this, this downward momentum and, yeah. These dudes just, just dying. <laughs> yep. Yes. You know, I've worked with Donald multiple times, and it's always a pleasure. Oh, yeah. Getting him to do the cover is great. How Comics put the colors on it, always yep. killing it. Oh, Hal's awesome. And they also yeah. came up with the logo, which I love. So, yeah. Oh, no kidding. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they awesome. they did together, or Hal came up with it? Hal did, yeah. Hal did. Okay, logo, yeah. yeah. That's awesome, man. He does He does good logos. Yeah, I love the love the uh, you know the knot work. It's very cool. 
I mean, you know, typography is uh, typography is an art in and of itself, man. You know, trying to evoke uh, the feeling of of the story you're trying to tell uh, in in type. You know, trying to give that that feeling, that emotion, just by looking at it. And yeah, logo designs, uh, it's 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 fun, man. It's uh, I I don't know. I like to think of it as archaeology of the mind, putting together a logo. Yeah, very much. Yeah. All right, and here's some uh, some pages from uh, Avery. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, so we're looking at uh, how many pages for this story? That's uh, 20 pages of floppy. Nice. And then there's uh, there's a uh, uh, bonus bonus story, or is that that's all pages all together? Uh, it's uh, 16 story pages, and then. Uh... Avery did these incredible like character designs. Like you know, most times when you get character designs, you get like you know, just kind of like a rough. Like he really did like character design. They could be like a page in the book. <laughs> like oh wow, he, he, it's another level. So I was blown so away. So he he he, he got into it. Like, yeah, it was like he nice. sent me two like upper torso shots of all the Viking guys and, and the guy, and I was like, wow, this is incredible. Like he put so much detail into them and stuff. I thought like I've always wanted to share like bonus material like that. I have tons. Yeah. Of sketches and stuff but they've never made any book so i'm thinking like this is the perfect just because you get to see more of avery's work and stuff and it's just like beautiful yeah oh wow this is this is some truly great stuff man i'm digging this i love i love the black and white now are you are you staying in black and white yeah uh yeah. avery's a colorist he's a good colorist these colors are more for phil but when yeah. i got the pages back and, and had just the gray tones and stuff. I was like, this is it, man. There's so much atmosphere and like, oh, dude, and the, the, the contrast. The yeah. Just, I mean, look at, look at this panel else. right here, dude. Yeah. Like the highlight on the dude's face and his chest and shoulders. I mean, this is, this is great. Yeah. I love the contrast of this. And I mean, this one up here too. Like the more you look at the pages, the more you get from them. So it's just, yeah. Like to me. Oh, like, totally. Oh, I don't want to touch this. I'm just like, I like it how it is. And just, uh, we're going to go, go and go with that. <laughs> Flying Feline says, Donald Loco better than Donald Steak Cooking. Yes, Donald, uh, Donald has, has no, uh, <laughs> no taste when it comes to steak, but uh, his art chops are, uh, are fucking great. And yes, that's incredible. Yeah, Avery, Avery is just knocking it out of the park with this. That's cool. Oh, I love a good splash page. And then you're gonna introduce uh, the white leopard there. You got uh, some pirates, like I said, so it's a, it's a lot of different things that that don't exactly go together at first glance. But hopefully, as people catch the story, they'll kind of see where, where everything's going. It's it's so much fun, man. So much great action. These are just some of the pages I can show without showing all the crazy bloody <laughs> action that happens in the books. So, right. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you got you to tease just enough, but you can't give the whole thing away, you know? Yeah. What's going on, Odin? Good to see you, man. Thanks for coming to hang out, dude. Uh, he says, this looks badass, Edwin. Thank you, man. Yeah, dude, it, it really does. Uh, like I said, every, every putting in the work, man. This book looks great. Every and time I got a page back, I would just be like, wow. I would just look at it like, yeah, this yeah. is going to be sick. And dude, I'm, I, yeah, the black and white is, is, is the way to go like this, this book just screams black and white. I mean, I know, I know Avery would, would knock it out of the park if he decided to color it, but I mean, there is, there is something about the mood and the atmosphere, like you were saying that just yeah, works that last in panel black there, and white. Basically yeah. That convinced me that I was like, this doesn't need to. Yeah. Yeah. No, I can totally see that. I can totally see that because it's. Uh, it's kind of like a like a, a black and white Viking movie, you know. Like it's, it's somber, severe. Like this is you know, it, it it adds to the the dreariness, especially with the overcast and the raining and the storm, you know. It's it's a whole mood, man. I love it. That's fucking great, man. I love it. I love it. These pages are great, and uh, they, they definitely make me want to see more. So, all right, you got uh, 12 bucks for the PDF and then 15 for the physical book. Yeah, it's actually, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, it's only five shipping U.S. Mm -hmm. uh, if you signed up for the mailing list, you'll save a couple bucks off it, so you'll be paying less than 20 
a US, which I think is a good deal, especially, you know, if we, if we can get it up and get some of the stretch goals that are coming, that are going to be super soon. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it'll be a, a nice, uh, nice thing. And, you know, try to make it uh, affordable shipping wise. It's probably the most affordable shipping wise book that I put out. So, yeah. I mean, dude, you are you are almost there. You are seventy two percent. You are you are well on your way, man. Hell yeah! Just a couple more, you guys, right there. Just hit, hit that. Yeah, uh, just hit just that a couple claim, more. Hit that claim rewards, you know. Yeah. Because once we get to uh, the the fifteen hundred, I'll announce the first stretch goal, uh, and I'll show the art too, which I think people will, will love. Hell yeah! Yeah. Um, it's, yeah, would love to see the uh, – look at this. You've already got stuff sold out. That's awesome. Yeah, we did uh, three uh, sketch card and book combos. Mm. Uh, yeah. I had one from uh, the great Shelby Robertson, the incredible Joe Ball, and the awesome yeah. Brandon Diaz. And uh, people snagged them up first hour, so thank you guys yeah, for that. Yeah, man. And, well, uh, dude, the, people – go ahead. No, we sold the page of original art also, so we have five left, so – if you like Avery's work, and you get roll. that beautiful black and white. You're there you see the details. Oh, like good dude, stuff. I uh, I I would love to have uh, had Avery here to talk about his process. Is he yeah, so? Is yeah. he doing all traditional, or is he just doing some traditional? Uh, he does mostly the, uh, most of the black and whites, the gray tones. He does digitally. Well, yeah, okay, so. but the black and white stuff. Yeah, like you see, like that. That's actually the, the, what the page looks like. If you see right there, the the image. Uh, so you see like the full detail of the beard, all the guys, you know, you see mm -hmm. the, the silhouettes, the black and white, all that stuff. All that's missing is the great tones from the page. Yeah. That's fucking rad, man. Yeah. Uh, Odin yeah. says, my humble opinion, don't dare call her this. Yeah, like it's, oh, speaking of the devil, the one. Right. What, what's up, Shelby? Good to here. see you, man. Uh, Feline totally agrees on that. No color. It's, it's definitely, yeah. it, 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 yeah. Yeah, dude. Unless, uh, I mean, you know, I guess it was like painter or something to go over this. I, I wouldn't tell Right? You. That's probably I mean, the only other thing that can make this better, really, you know. Yeah, you know, Preston suddenly was like, you know what? Let me paint your entire book for you. Yeah, okay. Let's I talk, mean, twist Preston. my arm. Let's talk, you know. Let's yeah, let, yeah let's, let's talk. Man, this is this is a great splash page, dude. And I bet you this was, this was the first page to go, wasn't it? Uh, no, uh, I only have the Viking pages available. Uh, this, uh, this might come later. I'm just waiting to get funded. Oh, uh, okay. I'll buy, the, right. I'll buy the rest of the new pages. So uh, yeah, you know, yeah, I make people wait for that. There might be another bundle, but we gotta sell those yeah. out first because uh, they're a pain to ship, and I don't want to have like 20 pages <laughs> in my home. <laughs> I already yeah. have like the 20 some ace pages. <laughs> yeah, I ship a couple of those out. So I'm, I'm trying not to oh, add more dude. pages. I go nuts, you know shipping shipping is such a pain in the ass yeah. you know and i i feel you on the 11 by 17 and you know uh of course shelby's got it down to a science you know is yeah. he he's got it all figured out because he ships out like pallets of like artwork all the time shelby's but a yeah i'm like, like i'm, I'm custom people. making a box yeah I'll shelby's a man don't do that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they've gone nuts so. yeah Is that a flying feline? That is uh, that is the white uh, that is the white leopard uh, jumping down um, on the attack. And it only gets see, better from there. <laughs> see, I'm looking at this, and I am I am wicked curious as to what's going on on this island. Like, what what are the inhabitants of this island like? And yeah, so I'm 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 curious now. Is this is this a is this like a real world Viking story or is this like a kind of a, a swords and sorcery type deal? Or is that, is that part of like the slow reveal? Yeah, that's part of the reveal. I mean, they, they ah! really, uh, you know, they are real life Vikings or, you know, they don't have any special powers or anything. You know, okay. All I mean, right. Then... See any of the uh, Viking gods show up there in the book, you know? Okay. All right. See, that gives a little bit more of the world. Okay. So it hmm. makes it uh, interesting when I was coming up with, it, I was like, how can I, make this different because i would love to tell like just like a basic viking story but you know right. like, that would require kind of more kind of uh that would require i think like a bigger book i need like a 40 some page book to do something yeah. like that but if you kind of mix it with a couple other elements you could do it more kind of traditional kind of comic book style so you can play yeah. around with different themes and so yeah maybe. uh flying field light says you had me at viking but now <laughs> <laughs> china Trying to get as so, many people on board on this, man. Like I said, I'm super proud of this. 
And, uh, you know, the book's completely done for anybody who wants to know. Actually, I'm working on the print file now. I got a proof done. I just got to prove some changes to it and stuff. So, you know, we're, we're on the way. Uh, you know, we got November expected date. That's just in case everything goes haywire because I had the right. on week two. But I'm thinking probably September, October is more kind of realistic. You know, if the book gets funded and everything, I should be able yeah. to around there. Right on, man. That's that's great, man. That's a quick turnaround too. When uh, when when did you start working on this one? Like uh, how long is how long has this one been in the works? I mean, the initial story is probably like two years ago. Yeah, okay, all right. So, yeah, it's like, and then like I said, we we're kind of did the first half, and then kind of did the second half over the last like six months. Nice, man. All right. So you, you worked on it a little bit, and then I guess contacted Avery, had him working on stuff, and then went and yeah. went and did other things, finished other things, and came yeah, back. Like to we those. both have other projects, you know. I was doing Bloodbone. He was doing uh, mm -hmm. more stuff for Lost Pages. He does the People stories. Oh you know, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Everything just kind of it was the right timing, you know. Sometimes that happens, you know. You got to get that right window, and you know, so so everything kind of worked out. And I'm super blown away by his work in the first. Part, Dude, even more just blown away from better. the second part. Now, now yeah. I just want, now I just want to finish writing uh, book two. That's why I need to get this funded. <laughs> okay, I, see that was that was my next question. Done. Yeah. How uh, how many how many how many volumes do you think this uh, this goes? Uh, so like how did... Yeah. So it's gonna okay. Be, All right. Book two and book three. I already have the outline for it. It's just I don't write the full script, panel panel breakdown, mm -hmm. dialogue until I'm kind of in that mode to go. Sure. Uh, you know, so everything's kind of laid out, and then I just got to sit down and be like, all right, the book's funded. We're on our way to making this a reality. Now I can tackle the full script for uh, book two. And I already got yeah, some cool dude. ideas and panels and stuff that's already in my head. I'm just waiting to kind of lock it down. Yeah, just just wait, just waiting to wait and getting the chance to to put it into into place and yeah. cement it. Uh, it's fucking rad, dude. That's that's exciting. And, and like we, like I said earlier, the uh, you know, uh, a, a body in motion stays in motion, and uh, you know the the creative mind that constantly you know tries new things, uh, in my opinion, stays sharpest. If you're constantly doing the same thing over and over again, you know you get really good at that one thing, but you know got to got to stretch the artistic muscles. You know you got to got to stretch the creative mind and try different things every now and then. Especially if you've got an idea for it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's definitely, I think it's kind of helped my confidence and everything as a writer, like working on all these different things. Like, just like every time that I come off something and I go to like, I go back to like a new other project, I just feel like the ideas flow easier and stuff. So it's, it's been good you yeah. know, to kind of be able to take a break, even though I love what I'm doing with Ace and Bloodbone. You sure. Know, you, get like a, you get into like a certain mindset, and then you kind of put mm -hmm. it away for a little bit, and then do this new thing, and then you come back to it, and you're like refreshed. So. Well, it gives you a different perspective. You know, it's it's um, you know, I, and uh, Stephen King's on writing, which is probably one of the best uh, books about writing I've I've ever read. Um, but he he talks about you know putting the manuscript away for like you know six months or something like that, and you know letting it look like some kind of alien artifact that you've never seen before by the time you get back to it, <laughs> and you know that's that's kind of what uh, going and doing like doing a different project uh, it, it makes your mind think in a different direction. If you're not thinking about you know this story and noodling it over and over again, you know you go off and do something different your subconscious mind will continue to think about it, but it won't use your, 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 your main brain power to do it. And then when you come back to it, you'll see different, different things, different perspectives. You know, it's, uh, I guess, kind of like having new eyes yeah. looking at something. I mean, that's why you have people, that's why you have editors as well, you know, to, to take a look at something. But, you know, being able to see your own work with new eyes is always helpful. Yeah, that's definitely true. So um, now I guess this is this is always the question since then all of your books are published by you you know Ace Bloodbone and this do they all exist in the same world is it a shared universe no or are they um, all individual all, all different worlds uh, you'll never see any of these unless it's like a print or something that I do they'll never actually be stories where they they cross over into each other I think that just confuses and everybody's doing the multiverse thing I think they played it out. It's not really interesting. 
Uh, yeah. So from my world, I'm keeping the walls out between everybody and just kind of yeah. dealing in each world. I think it just forces me to to keep the stories on that kind of plane. But yeah, you know, I'm always open to different collaborations with other, you know, uh, creators and stuff. I'll definitely love to do that. You know, me and Sam have talked about doing space heist with Ace right. and Matt and stuff, uh, like a fun kind of heist story in space. So, you know, we kicked around some ideas for that. And then, like I said, we do a lot of crossover prints and stuff like that. Uh, Shane Mess has one for his character Swarm, which is coming out later this year. Nice. So Swarm, Swarm and Ace print, that, that's going to be sick. Uh, so people can check that out. I'll oh, probably yeah, be uh, using that for, for like Ace 3 also. So, yeah, it's, it's always fun. The collaborations are fun. But, you know, for, for as far as like my characters and everything, they're all, each, each thing is separate. Cool. I think that's a good idea, especially since each one of the concepts is so drastically different. You know, they're 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 very very different from one another. You know, mm -hmm. uh, different uh, different settings, environments, to say the very least. You know, uh, <clears throat> and yeah, you're you're totally right. The uh, the multiverse is way overplayed, and it is a horrendous writer's crutch, honestly, in my opinion. Uh, it is, and unless it is intrinsic to your story, unless it is an actual part of your story as a whole, it's, it's best to be just left out, you know, it's, same with time travel, you mm -hmm. know, time travel is a, is a similar crutch, you know, and you know, you can, you can break the rules with time travel and, and whatnot. It's, yeah. It's, it's a crutch and, you know, being able to, being able to just tell competent stories within the rules that you've set up, the world that you've set up, I think is, is, is a much more worthwhile storytelling endeavor. Again, in my opinion. Yeah. So, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm right there with you, dude. I think that's, I think that's a, a good thing. Oh, that's fucking rad, man. I love this page right here with the, uh, the, the lightning coming down and, and the, the head of the, the Viking ship. Yeah. I love how it's, it's almost cinematic, really. It almost could be like a mm -hmm. gif or something that you put together, the boat swaying, the lightning, it goes black, and then that, that, that whole, like, all those three panels almost go together, like, in, you know, if you, yeah. one page after the other, you can almost turn them, so just great work by Avery, like I said, uh, yeah, he just went crazy on this, and... Uh, yeah. You know, I mean, it, it looks like Avery's having a little bit of fun with this, I'm just saying, you mm -hmm. know, and that's good. Whenever, whenever the creative team is having fun, uh, whenever the creative team is having fun, it always comes through in the end product. Yeah, man, I've been uh, super fortunate. You know, all the guys that I've worked with have all done killer work and just continue mm -hmm. to get better. They always surprise me. They always uh, do more new stuff that always mm -hmm. just catches me off guard, you know. So uh, it's been great working with, with uh, Canales, been great working with yeah. Donald on uh, Bloodbone, and then now Avery. On uh, Raider the White Leopard. Yeah, this is this is fucking amazing, as <laughs> uh, as Feline put it, absolutely. And what are the time? What are the rules of time travel, really? Yeah. Well, that's I'm that's the problem. <laughs> that's <laughs> the problem. There don't seem to be many, and they seem to be kind of stretchy. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's ah, fucking rad, man. And that that cover, dude. This is this is this is a neat little package, dude. And I'm 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 curious about it, and I'm I'm hoping everybody else is uh, is uh, curious about it as well. Um, and so you said you were aiming to have this fulfilled in October. Yeah, uh, sooner than November. November's just basically like the if everything goes to hell date, <laughs> you know. Oh, okay. Everything goes uh, right. to crap. You gotta have built-in buffer there. Like oh yeah, absolutely. I mean. All done. Yeah. Yeah. Murphy's law uh, usually says that there's there's going to be something. I found that the hard wrong. way on Ace too. Like that, was everything that could go wrong did go wrong. Like yeah. getting damaged books, <laughs> getting oh. it was just uh, it was a nightmare. See, but, you know, we got that, it. Done. Yeah, exactly. And that's 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 the thing. You you communicate with your audience. You let them know what's happening, and you you push through. You know, you push through. You're able to able to get it out there. And your audience knows that you're you're gonna go to bat for them. You're gonna you're gonna bust ass to make sure that they get they get their book, and that's important. You know the uh, the consumers guy the you know the customer the audience our readers have to know that they're gonna get their book no matter what. 
because you know you, that that conf- you shatter that confidence and I mean, you know, well we've we've seen what happens you three know campaigns by the way three yeah three, three fulfilled three. campaigns that's right yeah. and the this is this is the third IP that uh, that I've seen you know so this is this is awesome man you know getting a, getting a little getting a little fucking uh, bullpen of uh, books there man like, uh, look at you, little little publishing house, you. It's fucking rad, brother. I love it. I love it. Uh, so twenty five bucks gets you two uh, of the books, and well, that's that's the only thing that's not sold out. Unless you want to grab a, an original art page, which fucking hell, why wouldn't you? Yeah, you'll you'll want a piece of this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Avery does fantastic work and uh, fucking killer. I mean, look at this. Uh, wow. We're also going to have some more sketch cards coming. I'm just waiting to get the art from some guys who are working yeah. out right now. So they'll probably be up in the next probably two weeks, two three weeks, depending how quick some of these guys get back to me. So we'll probably, probably nice. put a couple bundles up uh, in the next couple of weeks. There you go. That's awesome. Hell yeah, man. All right, so uh, what's what's next for you after uh, Raid of the White Leopard? Up next is Ace 3 coming in September. That's uh, you got uh, balls deep into that, as they say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, you know, got uh, 20-some pages. Canal is already done. Uh, Howl's working on the backup story. Uh, nice. An amazing cover that's going to blow people's minds when they see it. Dude, I, I love like, hearing that. The cover's completely done. It's colored. Everything is just beautiful. So, you know, so as, as we get closer, I'll start revealing more stuff. I just want to focus on Raid for now. Yeah. But when it gets closer, yeah. I'll drop that. And I think people are going to go nuts over it. It's, I, uh, dude, I can I can already tell that you are wicked excited about what's coming next for Ace. So yeah, that, so that in and of itself kind of has me excited, you know, yeah. just... Again, like I always say, if the creative team is excited about the project, it's going to come through. If they're having fun, it's going to come through the work. What's I going on, this, Neff? I think this one's really going to benefit the people who read the first two. Mm-hmm. I think once they, they've they gotten the backstory and everything, I think this one's going to be like the one that's really going to hit. I think everything kind of uh, comes together in this one. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be on uh, Tuesday. Uh, I mean, Monday, excuse me. Uh, yeah. With uh, Nefarious, yeah. Hell Yeah. Uh, they they always do a great show over there. Yeah, it's always fun hanging out. You yeah. know, there's all these people that I've gotten to meet and stuff, and it's always a yeah. pleasure uh, to talk with them and kind of just chill out. And I, I like these kind of one on one streams where we can just kind of chill out and talk for a little bit and just. Oh yeah, know. man. So those well, are always it, cool. Life is. Uh, I mean, it's not it, life is life is really busy. So being able to just have a conversation sometimes, especially about something that you're passionate about, like storytelling, comics, especially comics. like you know, like. There's so much stuff that you hold to your chest. Me, like I said, I've got twenty some pages of Canalis. I think people have only seen a couple of panels that Canalis that Canalis has even posted because I don't want mm-hmm. anything out. So you know, right? You hold stuff for so long, and then you, oh, you finally get to talk about it, and you're like, now I can oh, show full pages yeah. and letters and all that stuff. So you gotta mm-hmm. you know, like to get it out while you can. Well, I'm still oh. holding some back because there's even more mysteries and stuff to the book. So you know, I, I'm I'm intrigued by the island. You know this uh, this particular panel right down here, where the uh, the white leopard is jumping down. Like I am, I am, I am wicked curious as to you know what what the hell is going on on this island now. But yeah, um, so yeah, man. Um, what was I going to say? Something about uh, something about the the eggs. Uh, anyway, I I love how excited you are about about the ace uh, and it's my baby. You know, like uh, people oh yeah, dude. Them, I don't want to do them. Like I want to keep telling ace stories for as long as I can, man. I think there's so much potential to the character, and I've had so much fun writing each book. I think I gotten. I, I think each book has been better than the next. I'm super excited to see colors. Uh, mm-hmm. I know analysis is done. That, that's hopefully going to come in the next couple months. I know Hal's working on the backup story now, which he's also coloring. So it you know it takes a bit of a process because you know Hal's oh, yeah. got a lot on his plate too. He does work for Phil and stuff. So that's where we kind of put the September date just to give everybody time. Nobody's rushed. Everybody right, but as much of it done as possible, uh, and get it out to people. Well, I mean, no no reason to rush the work if you don't have to. Yeah. You know, yeah, man, fucking fantastic, dude. 
uh, I'm I'm looking forward to to seeing this one. Everybody, uh, go go hit up fundmycomic dot com right, and close. grab this one. I think we're a little four hundred something away, you know. So we definitely mm-hmm. love to get closer to that. And like I said, once we hit the the funding goal, uh, I'll uh, post the art for the stretch goal. Uh, and I think people really gonna love the art so, and the artist too. So. Hell yeah! Did you did you have anything that you wanted to show? Um, uh, no, no, uh, no, no. Okay. Nothing until, uh, nothing until we we get to the stretch goals. That's when uh, uh, you get nothing uh, until we hit the stretch uh, goals, folks. That's the surprise this has come, but yeah, yeah. Just mm. let everybody know, like uh, the art uh, is. I think it's worth the, the money by itself, and I think the story is like super interesting. It's completely different from anything that I've seen uh, put out, and I, I keep yeah. my eye on, on most books. <laughs> so you know, I think people really dig the story. So. Go, go check it out. Hell yeah. I love the I love the shadows and the, the contrast and all this. Yeah, man. This is this is this is gonna be a fun book. And at, at fifteen bucks. Oh, and you got you got shipping to Canada as well. Nice. Yeah, uh, there's a little hiccup with uh I think that's some sort of glitch or something for a little bit. So I just kind of made a special tier there just in case, but it yeah. should be good. Uh, okay. yeah, yeah, it ships worldwide. So if you want it, uh, it's there for you. If you have any issues, you can always contact me and I could always add the tier and then, you know, fix it. But like I said, everything should be hundred percent now. So just a little extra bonus. If you, you live in Canada, you can just back the Canadian tier and mm-hmm. uh, you'll be all set. Hell yeah. And I I agree. The details. The details are great. Yeah, each page is just every each panel, you know, sometimes I'll just zoom in and just be like looking at him to see like what did he put in this what did he put on this page that I didn't catch? <laughs> yeah. Man, I I love I love the expression on this dude's face right here. You know, he's 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 really just kind of had it with uh, you know, the weather. I didn't <laughs> This caption about the gods having a tr- truly having a sense of humor. Yeah, yeah that's. Just, I love I just seeing that panel and just being like, "Wow, this is." Yeah, you know, if it well, gives I mean, me bumps because you know you the see the emoting man. Stuff, yeah, you see it in your head and stuff, but until you actually see the finished panel and stuff, that's when you really kind of it hits you. You're like, "Wow, this is," you know, this is uh, come to life. So. Yeah. No, nah, this is this is a gorgeous looking book, man, and I'm I'm wicked curious about the story as well. I think you got a uh, a fun and mysterious yarn ahead for people. Uh, great interior artwork and a badass cover by Donald Delay and Hal. So I mean, it's there's all these are all all reasons to uh, hit this link. Thank you, Vlad. Uh, hit this link and uh, go back this book now. Uh, anything else you want to say about uh, about the book before we uh, before we wrap this one up? Uh, no, but I do want to plug. I do have some. I think like nine copies left of the Bloodbone Ash Can on my Etsy store. So if you missed out on Bloodbone, you can go over there and grab it. Ships the next day. Uh, it's a beautiful uh, twelve page uh, black and white ash can with a sick full cover with art by Ricardo Jaime. Uh, that I think it is a badass cover. One of the coolest books uh, you'll you'll see, and we're getting ready for Blood Bowl number one next year, with uh, me and, and Joe Ball. We're getting together to tackle that one. So okay, yeah, I was gonna I was gonna ask, will we be seeing more Blood Bone? Yeah, we're definitely gonna see. It's gonna it's taking it to that next level. Me and Joe have talked about doing something for a long time. He's been yeah, in the yeah. middle of death, death, death. So yeah, that's like his main priority. That's why it's gonna take some time for it to come together. Before. Sure tackling that monster but yeah yeah, yeah that is 300 piece, page man. monster holy yeah, shit yeah. dude yeah but uh, he, he's been having a lot of fun with the pages he's done for bloodbone he's already done the cover uh so yeah it's, it's gonna be a, a blast so stay tuned for that kicking ass all over the place man i love it i love it that's that's it's so much fun to hear and it's exciting uh it's exciting to to, to think about the uh, the future collaborations dude yeah. uh because that that first bloodbone looked really awesome you know the, the uh, you know the whole point of an ash can is to whet the appetite, mm-hmm. and yeah, arc you, and then you know, like I said, we're gonna it's gonna be exactly. so much. Fun. Like I said, a lot of stuff. Uh, you know, just kind of like behind the scenes and stuff. I only share with our hardline guys. So, yeah, you know, I always I always like when I can finally get to talk about it and we kind of go deep in books. That's those are always 
fun conversations like uh you know you don't have to hold anything back yeah well i mean it's it's always fun to be able to talk about the shit you're excited about man yeah. and if it's something that'll spoil something for everybody else it's kind of yeah you, you, you can't actually talk about it so no. i understand i want to ruin the fun you know like people want, want to exactly. look at it and get surprised and be like oh i didn't think this was gonna happen or oh you know and then like i said you always get the reviews from people and i always appreciate feedback positive negative in between yeah. It gives yeah. me something to kind of work on and kind of be like, all right, I can maybe tweak this a little bit. You know, my projects have like a, a while in between them, so I can always go back and kind of mm-hmm. tackle certain things if anybody has any issues. But, you know, I'm, I'm a comic book fan. I, I love comics. Uh, you know, I'm yeah. always uh, just trying to make the best comic I can make with along with the rest of the hardline guys. That's, that's all we want to do, man. We just want to make gay, gay badass comics and get them in your hands. So. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's... I mean, have fun, make comics, you know? That's it. I mean, it's, that's, that, that's, that's what it should be, you know? The, the, the storytelling. Storytelling should be fun. It's like it's the oldest profession in the world, you know? Should be fun. We entertain ourselves with it. We re- record history with stories, so stories mm-hmm. should be fun. They should be entertaining. They should captivate the audience. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for coming to hang out. Oh, we got a Jason. Uh, what up? I wet things, and it's not the appetite. Well, that's that's a disturbing way to end end this stream. That's for sure. Uh, <laughs> Edwin, yeah. thanks for coming to hang out, man. Uh, and uh, shares it out to people. Let them know. Oh, yeah. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, thanks for coming to hang out. Thanks for bringing uh, White Leopard. Uh, I am I am wicked intrigued as to what you got going on uh, on this island, and uh, hopefully everybody else is too. Badass interior artwork. Um, but yeah, man, thanks for thanks for coming to hang out and uh, chat. You're amazing. You guys rock. Thank you. And remember, <laughs> shop smart, shop s smart. <laughs> <laughs>